You want to know the number one reason why people fail on their New Year's resolutions at the beginning of the year? Right here. This, this is why nobody can stick to their resolutions. Because Girl Scout cookies. Camera's falling. I can't have these because I'm on prep. They smell though. so good. You're a weirdo. It's like, I'm sniffing this like a cracked addict, y'all. But today is Monday, January the 21st. I am 14 weeks out. And apparently, I have succumbed to sniffing Girl Scout cookies. <coughs> As you can tell, I am still sick. I do feel better than I did yesterday. Um... I went in and just finished teaching body step and um, I decided just not to lift for several reasons. One, because I feel like my body just needs more rest. And two, um, I don't want to spread this to anybody else. I don't want to give my germs to all the other people in the gym and you know that the gym is one of the most germy places on the planet because everybody's touching everything. Hands go on the same hand placement on weights and all that stuff. So for out of respect for everybody else and for my own body, I'm going to rest for the rest of the day. Somehow try to keep these hood rats entertained. I did buy them Girl Scout cookies. So hopefully that means that they will be nice to me and let mommy rest. It is currently 17 degrees outside. 17, like that should be illegal. Um, I'm gonna go home and snuggle up with my electric blanket after a nice hot shower. I'm gonna eat a bowl of chili and then I am chilling for the rest of the day. So hopefully later on this week, I will feel a little bit better and I will be able to give you a much more exciting in-depth look into my life at 14 weeks out. I don't know where she gets her weirdness from. <laughs> she even has an evil laugh. Like, do you hear that? She's got this <laughs> evil laugh. So, all right. So, here it is. 14 weeks out. Whee! Let's get into it. So today is Wednesday, January 23rd, and I am actually on my way right now to um, one of our local fire stations here in Charlottesville because I am actually about to put um, some firemen through a workout. So uh, one of the lovely gentlemen that I train is one of the chiefs of the fire department. And I am um, going to his station to train all of his, uh, his firemen. So we're going to do a 30-minute HIIT workout. Hopefully, I'll be able to record a little bit for you guys. Um, I'm really excited, but there's a possibility that these guys might not welcome me back just because, you know. Hit Stay workouts. in the left two lanes. Yeah, and then that's my GPS going off. So um, I'm feeling so in much better today. Miles. Keep right toward Birdwood Road. And I am. I'm still coughing, but I'm still. I'm feeling so much better than I was. So, and I'm so out of focus. But, anyways, I will check in with you guys as soon as I am finished um, teaching the firemen. Um, and hopefully you guys will get to see a little snippet of it as well. So have a great day. Feeling so much better. Cannot tell you how much better I feel. I actually will get to lift today. Um, so that's huge bonus. So peace out and I will see you guys after the workout.
All right, so as I promised, I'm going to um, show you guys how I make my protein waffle. So all I really do is I use one scoop of protein powder. Um, I've been using this caramel cookie crunch because it tastes quite a bit like regular um, waffle or pancake powder. So just one scoop of this. Um, I put a little extra cinnamon in because I really like cinnamon. I put one teaspoon of um, just baking powder um, and then one whole egg um, and a little bit of water in case your batter is a little bit too thick. And then basically all I do is just take this and then I pour it into the waffle iron. And it usually makes about two waffles. So, and then I just close that. Wait till it turns green, telling me that it's ready. Here is my finished product. So I have got two waffles here. Um, and then I am going to, I've topped it with um, Legendary Foods Pecan Pie Flavored Almond Butter, just a tablespoon of that. And then I'm going to top it with some Walden Farms Pancake Syrup. Um, I love this stuff. I use like bottles of this. I put it on protein brownies. I put it on... Um, protein ice cream and all that stuff. So yeah, this is what I'm having for breakfast. Low carb, um, high protein, and super delish. Tastes just like a regular waffle. All right guys, it is Sunday, January the 27th, and I promised that I would take you guys through a um, what's in my fridge segment again. It probably hasn't changed much since the last time I did this. I think I did this um, my first week in prep, but I thought I would go through it again just to kind of show you the essentials that I keep in my fridge and what I pretty much eat on a daily basis. So without further ado, here right. we go. So let's start up here at the top. I have some eggs and then I also have some, um, I've been eating a lot of beef lately, so I have got some 93% lean, 7% fat, um, beef, and then, um, let's see what else we got up here. I have been digging these lately. These have been a huge, huge staple. These Simply Potato Shredded Hash Browns. And they are actually really, really macro friendly. So for two thirds of a cup, um, which is 83 grams, it's 70 calories, zero grams of fat, 15 grams of carbs, and it also has two grams of protein, which is pretty cool. I have been eating like a bag of these almost every day. I love these. So I have some already cooked up here in my container. I have a really big thing of Jello. I love Jello because it's sugar-free Jello um, because it's very filling. Um, it's got protein, and I love it a lot. This is kind of the cheese drawer. I don't really eat this. Um, this is just some American, but I do eat these Velveeta slices. I just got them in a separate bag. Um, they're 35 calories a slice. I like to put those in my omelets along with some ham. I like to put this in my omelets as well. And then as you can see, those are not mine. Those would be my husband's. I do have these. Um, shirataki spaghetti tofu noodles. I like to put those um, in stir fries or I use it in place of regular noodles for spaghetti. This is just a package of turkey bacon. Um, I like to eat that for breakfast sometimes. This is some canned pumpkin that I put in my oatmeal. We've got raspberries, love raspberries because they're really high in fiber, super low cal. Um, same for blackberries. And then here I've got a whole bag of 
frozen tilapia thawing in my fridge because I'm going to prep this for this coming week. And then on the bottom, I've got egg whites, I eat a lot of egg whites, high in protein, low fat. Um, Sugar-free Italian sweet cream, I put this in my coffee every morning. I've got two of those because coffee is life. I use a lot of almond milk in my um, oats. Uh, I use it in my protein brownie that I've been eating every night. Um, and then behind that you just got some juice that are for my children. They are not for me. And then I also have my legendary foods, um, peanut butter chocolate with chocolate chips, and then oh, the Mecca, which is the pecan pie flavored almond butter. Oh, that stuff is, it's legendary. Like it really is. And then I also have some regular almond butter. <laughs> there is a hoard of Chick-fil-A honey mustard and uh, Polynesian sauces in there. I don't eat, my kids love those though. These are just a bunch of condiments. I use um, Ready Whip on my Jello. I like to put like just a couple tablespoons of this on top. It gives it a little extra kick, a little extra sweet. Um, I've been using this avocado oil mayo. It's only 45 calories for a tablespoon. Um, and then the fat macros are not that bad on there either. It's only four and a half grams of fat. It's less than a gram of carbs. I ate mustard on everything. Like I'm almost, this is almost empty, so I'm going to have to go get myself some more mustard. Love me some mustard. I also love this um, French's honey mustard made with real honey, and it's actually really super macro friendly. So um, for one teaspoon, it is only 10 calories, zero fats, and one carb. So I eat this on chicken. And then this is one of the main essentials here. Walden Farms pancake syrup. I put this on my protein waffle, on my protein brownie that I've been eating every night. Um, I usually have like three or four of those in there, but seeing as how the store was out, I didn't have any. And then we're just gonna pop over here to my cabinet. See what we got going on over here. Up here, I've got a bunch of oats. Oatmeal, um, breadcrumbs, which I don't use, but regular oatmeal, more oatmeal. I love these Good Thins um, white cheddar crackers. I eat these with tuna salad a lot. Um, 130 calories, you got 22 grams of carbs, four grams of fat, and two grams of protein. They're really thin and really crunchy, and so if I'm craving that crunch, I really like that. A ginormous bag of Splenda that I've never used. It's been in there forever. Um, this is puffed kamut, I guess is how you say it. Um, I love this because it's literally like 50 calories for a cup. Um, I, I got a rubber band so you can't really see it. But I put that on um, like a protein smoothie. Sometimes I eat it just with some almond milk or even um, make some protein shake in some water and pour it on it and eat like regular cereal. Coconuts, um, unsweetened. I put this in my oatmeal sometimes. Those are not mine, those potatoes. Let's see, we got some canned goods I don't eat. Definitely not eating the toaster treats. You can tell that is for my kids. I've got some coconut flavored peanut butter, some reduced fat peanut butter. Um, dry roasted and salted almonds. I eat these if I need some extra fat. Um, cream of wheat, I eat a lot of cream of wheat and always, always, always have plenty of tuna on hand because I eat lots and lots of tuna. Then down here, we have got all my protein powders. So this is um, just a vanilla protein powder that I got from Dana Lynn Bailey's website. This is the protein powder, the caramel cookie crunch that I've been using to make my protein waffle. Back here, I've got my mint um, chocolate chip ice cream. I use that um, to make like a protein smoothie. I've been using this designer way that I got at Trader Joe's um, to make my protein brownie every night. I am going to get a different one once I'm done with this, just because the carbs are higher on this than a lot of the other proteins. So, um, and then this is just my BCAs and EAAs. Got some, some creatine going on. Um, I've got 
some pre-workout onward. That's also from Dana Lynn Bailey. Got some greens if I want to get those extra micronutrients in. Um, this is apple cinnamon flavored. I try not to use a whole lot of this. Maybe half a scoop because it, it does taste very apple cinnamony. And then my ever so reduced fat wheat thins. Oh, I love these. I could just eat this whole box. It's my fave. Um, and then these are my kids' syrups for their pancakes. And then the rest of this stuff is just kids' snacks and cereals. So yeah, that's basically what is in my fridge and in my pantry. And see you later. All right, so it is Sunday and we are heading to my mom's house because she is cooking me a steak dinner for my birthday, which is technically on Tuesday, but since my mom has to work on Tuesday, we've decided to do it today. So I've got the whole fam, got husband, got kiddo number one, there's number three, kiddo number two Hi. right there. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy a steak and a cupcake because coach said that I could have a little refresh, especially since I hadn't really hit my macros this week. Um, appetite was just kind of uh, because of being sick. So I'm gonna indulge a little bit today and have some fun. So I will show you guys my food once we get there. I just ate my steak dinner and now this is the most important part. The cupcake. Look at that. It's got the icing. Oh. It's got the sprinkles and it's from this really awesome bakery here called Chandler's. And so, here we go. Birthday cupcake. I'm so excited. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. I'm gonna be sick later. This is so good. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna eat this. And I'm gonna go home and take a big nap. Because I am full. Peace out. All right, it is weekly wrap up time, week in review. Um, I had a really much better week this week. Being sick really threw me off my game. And um, although I stayed consistent as possible, you just, when you feel like shit, you just don't wanna do anything. So this week was a lot better and um, I really enjoyed that cupcake yesterday. I can't even tell you. Uh, ended the week at 149.3 pounds. So finally saw the scale move this week, but um, it probably had to do with the fact that I didn't hit a lot of my macros this week because again, I was sick. So uh, 13 weeks out and um, it's just going by so fast. Like I can't believe that I am almost halfway through my my prep and it's been really great so far my coach has been absolutely amazing um so i have no complaints other than um nothing i really don't have any complaints uh, i thought i would change my uh my 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 setting here and uh do a little film outside it's not too cold but it's supposed to get like butt freaking freezing tonight so Hello, electric blanket. Um, but here's on to uh, 13 weeks out. And uh, drop me a note below if you liked this week's video. And um, 
hit me up on Instagram at Cassie underscore Roop. And uh, I will see you guys next week.